we have some awesome stuff to share That's with you. A, you okay. You're already sporting it, girl. Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. I oh couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. So each day this week, on behalf of the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center, we'll be showing a different piece of Indian artwork and jewelry this week. So now this is probably not what you expect when you think of Native American jewelry. These bracelets were made by Michael Kirk, who is of the Navajo and Isleta Pueblo heritage. He's taken his classic feather design and then he adds a ceramic e-coat using electroplating technology and that's what creates these vibrant colors that you see right here. These bracelets are available at the Shumakoloa Native Arts inside the Pueblo Indian Pueblo Cultural Center and online at shumakoloa.com and for more information just head over to casa.com beautiful beautiful bracelets they're yeah. all handmade and you can you can tell when you when you actually look mm -hmm. at them a lot of love was put into these uh, but let's talk American Indian Week in yes. case you missed it the past couple days it's going on tomorrow through Sunday some events that will be happening five traditional native dances a spring artisan market and then two signature events one of them is on Friday which is the indigenous cultures night out and then the other is on Sunday and that's the Red Earth reunion concert and we so, spoke to the lead to singer yesterday to. yeah and yeah it was a lot of fun cool. I love the way that he described his music he said I mean it's a very eclectic mix of yeah. like rock ska punk infused with with you know native traditions mm -hmm. of music so uh, I be really cool definitely I, it's check gonna be it a out. cool concert yeah absolutely